Right now, the Razorbacks and the Sooners are ready to kick it up in the 1987 Orange Bowl. Oklahoma wearing the maroon jerseys. These two schools have the same colors. And back deep is the fastest Razorback. Bounty centers for Arkansas. Flyer. Todd Thompson is ready to kick the ball off now for Oklahoma. These teams, this is only the third meeting since 1926. Short kickoff. Centers will have a problem, though. He's got to let it bounce, and he's in deep heat now. Fields it back at the six. And the Sooners come calling, and they get him down at the 11-yard line. So a short kickoff. Turns out to work in favor of the Sooners. It's right now, Greg Thomas, a very good quarterback, brings out the offensive unit for Arkansas. They run the flex bone, they call it, very similar to the wishbone. His running backs will be Joe Johnson. And the fullback is Derek Thomas. Sammy Van Dyke, also in the backfield. Johnson, one of the fastest backs. Van Dyke averaging 4-4 a carry. She best a great receiver. He'll get the ball maybe a lot tonight. Another good receiver has only caught seven balls is Theo Young, the tight end. Right now, the Hawks start with two tight ends. They're going to run the ball in Oklahoma. Hand off goes to Joe Johnson, and he doesn't get much, but usually you don't against Oklahoma Trump, a team that gives up 1.6 yards to the rush on the average. The offensive lineman, Big David Smart from Bryant, Arkansas. Limbo Parks from Kansas City. Brian White's the center. He's from Fort Smith, Arkansas. And there is the biggest hog of all. Freddie Childress and their best offensive lineman. Last time they hit him at the ice house, he was 350. Chris Beckett, the right tackle. Junior already in law school. He's already graduated as an undergrad. After a two-yard gain on the first carry, Greg Thomas is ready to throw. He swings it out. Coming out of the backfield is the fullback, Derek Thomas, and he is out across the 20 to about the 22-yard line. And very close to a Razorback first down. On the guy replacing Brian Bosworth in the Oklahoma defense, Dante Jones, number 50. He makes the tackle. Now, he's a part-time starter. He shares with Paul Miliazzo, and Bosworth, of course, would play that spot, the other spot, all the time. So now the starting middle linebackers are Jones and Miliazzo as the officials measure. Now, the initial comment you got to make, when you look at these two football teams, how similar their uniforms are. I think Arkansas has got to throw the ball tonight, and a lot of time, a lot of times, quarterbacks, when it goes to the alternate receiver, the secondary receiver, they look for helmets. The colors are the same. The only difference is there's a Razorback for Arkansas and an OU for Oklahoma. Just saw the defensive front of the Oklahoma Sooners, Richard Reed, Dante Williams, and Steve Bryan across the front. Outside linebackers are Daryl Reed and Troy Johnson. And now the Sooners put on the rush and Greg Thomas and throw him down back at the 16-yard line. On a first down play, a substantial loss. Paul Miliazzo, senior linebacker from Kansas City, a key player in the defense. Dante Jones, a junior from Dallas, good player, but he's not Bosworth, and that's who he's starting for tonight. Sonny Brown has been a standout player. Starts at one corner. Ricky Dixon, a very good free safety. David Vickers made All-American at safety this year for the Sooners. And Derek White starts at the right corner. So now, Thomas looks to throw again. Eludes the rush and takes it straight ahead. Oh, Ball's on the field, and let's see who gets it. Sooners think they do. Looked like Thomas might have gotten it back at the 21-yard line. It'll bring up third and long if he did. Ryan hit him and broke the play up. Interesting thing about this Arkansas offense, even though they get 82% of their yardage running, Greg Thomas, a very efficient quarterback, six, over 60% complete, and has only thrown one interception on the season. Arkansas just two interceptions as a team. Ball bounces right for Arkansas that time, right back into Greg Thomas's hands. So now, for Arkansas, the Razorbacks coming in with a 9-2 record, Thomas to throw again. Sooners number one in the nation against the pass and a drop ball. They were going to his fullback, Derek Thomas. It's incomplete. And Arkansas now has to punt the ball to Oklahoma, and the Sooners could get very good field position as number 80, Troy Johnson, made the play, putting the heat on. That's one thing that Arkansas is going to have to face all night long. This is an excellent defense, both against the run and the pass. That average misleading. He kicks yes, it, it far, is. but he kicks it low. An awful lot of them come back at the Razorbacks. Ball is hit downfield. Patrick Collins is down there, and he's going to take the ball at the 35-yard line for Oklahoma. And Collins is out. 
to the 44-yard line, and here comes what might be the greatest rushing offense in college football history. The Oklahoma Sooners averaging over 6.2 yards a rush. We'll be back with no score up yet in the 87 Orange Bowl. I wonder why Bosworth pulled out at the flip of the coin is the reason he did it. He, he worked it out with the coach. They said they didn't know if there was a technicality or not. So before the coin flip, he just went out on his own so they wouldn't penalize the team. Back to you. Ah. So there he goes on the sideline. Brian Bosworth looking out as the Sooners get set to go first down and 10. Jamel Holloway hands up, breaking into open field for the moment as Tillman. And good defense by Arkansas knocks him down after a short carry. Jamel Holloway, the sophomore from Carson, California, the man who makes the wishbone go at Oklahoma. Ernie Johnson, Earl Johnson's had a spectacular year at fullback after coming off an injury, averaging seven and a half yards a carry. Tillman, a senior starter, only senior in the backfield. He averages 6.5 a carry. And Patrick Collins averages an even six yards per pop. Wishbone hand up goes to the fullback, Earl Johnson. Tony Cherico. Standout nose tackle, even though he's undersized, made the stop for Arkansas. Derek Shepard, wide receiver for the Sooners. He's a senior, doesn't get the ball open. Keith Jackson, the best tight end in America, according to the All-America polls. The linemen are huge. John Phillips at 275 from Tulsa. This guy's a sophomore. Hudson, he's already an All-American. Travis Simpson is a senior. Anthony Phillips, brother of John, the right guard, and the right tackle is Greg Johnson. Pitch back goes, and running with the ball is Collins. They miss him in the backfield, and on third down and six, Patrick Collins gets the ball across the field to about the 49-yard line, so the Sooners don't get there on three running tries. Ricky Williams was also on the play for Arkansas, and the Sooners are stopped on their first try. Excellent job of getting to the corner all night long. You'll hear about Steve Atwater, number 27. You see him filling. He's the guy assigned to that pitch man. He's there to assist on the tackle. So Todd Thompson is in now to punt the ball for Oklahoma. Hits it very well into the wind. At the open end of the Orange Bowl, it is through the end zone and up. And the Razorbacks will go a second time in this scoreless Orange Bowl with 10-11 to play in the first quarter. Cricky with Bob Trumpy and Paul McGuire back at the Orange Bowl. Fred Goldsmith, defensive coordinator for Arkansas, has to be pleased with what the Razorbacks just turned in, stopping the supercharged offense of the Sooners on three downs. So Oklahoma punted first possession, and Arkansas has the ball in this scoreless game for a second time. Sammy Van Dyke with a problem as Oklahoma with the number one defense in America, number one against the rush, number one against the pass, number one overall, makes the knockdown. Steve Bryan, one of the Bryan brothers who've stood out over the years at Oklahoma, made the play. Oklahoma outscores its opposition. It has this season compiling the 10 and 1 record on the average of 42 to 7. Sooners actually average over 42 points a game and allow less than seven, 6.6. They're number one in defense against scoring also. Derek Thomas in the game at fullback. That's the flex ball with the other halfbacks off his wingbacks, really. Thomas putting up again. A good passer. He gets it out and a drop ball by Joe Johnson on a second down and 11 play. Greg Thomas is 62% passer for the Razorbacks. Not for the Razorbacks, too. They can't miss opportunities like that. Joe Johnson open in the flat ball hit him right between the numbers playing a football team of the caliber of the Oklahoma Sooners the early stages of the football game you've got to impress your opponent and that means you've got to make those catches there's Ken Hetfield the coach done an extraordinary job with Arkansas over the last three years that has the best record in the Southwest Conference does the Hetfield coach Arkansas team over that three year period here's a throw down field ball is caught by Chivas Best receiver in Arkansas history, and he's out across the 45-yard line as the Razorbacks get downfield for 27 yards and a first down. Interesting story about Chivas. Look at that average per catch. A couple of years ago, he had a sensational season. This week, he's been sleeping with a football. He wants a career performance tonight against the Oklahoma Sooners. Very fast, very quick. Will catch the ball in the crowd, and once again, 
you saw Greg Thomas throw that ball right on the money. Very unusual for a wishbone or a flexbone quarterback. Slept with a football. Slept with a football. And just caught one for 27. First down. To the run they go. Van Dyke again has a problem. As coming up to fill with Steve Bryan, a 255-pound senior from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Well, it appears that Arkansas is trying to get to that spot that would normally be filled by Brian Bosworth, but they haven't gotten by the defensive line yet on the run. Arkansas, as they were nine years ago when they pulled off the all-time Orange Bowl upset, is a prohibitive underdog in this game. Sooners favored by three touchdowns. They were favored by that nine years ago, and Arkansas won 31 to six in the night Oklahoma National Championship. Thomas keeps it. He's the leading rusher for Arkansas, and on the second and ten play, he crosses midfield to the 47-yard line of the Sooners. Donnie Williams, the freshman nose guard, made the stop for Oklahoma. Very mature quarterback when he came to Arkansas. Couldn't do much. Had good foot speed. Couldn't throw the ball very well. But each year he's played with Arkansas, has gotten progressively more accurate as a passer. And with this flex bone or wishbone offense that Hatfield has employed, he seems a natural at that spot. Looks like Trump Arkansas is going to have to keep throwing to a degree. She best is back in. Thomas, now he's going to keep it himself, and he puts his head down and gets the first down for Arkansas. Arkansas with only seven yards rushing in the game on six carries, but Greg Thomas, this junior quarterback, makes a big play, and he gets another first down. One thing about this Arkansas offensive line, it matches up size-wise with the Oklahoma defensive line. And Dante Jones... Filling that spot vacated by 44 Bosworth there to make the tackle. And they just did an excellent job of disguising that little quarterback draw. So Oklahoma feeling some pressure early in this scoreless game as Arkansas has the only drive so far in its second possession. Gary is down close to the 41 yard line. They gave it to the fullback Derek Thomas and they say Trump the key to stopping the wishbone or the flex bone is you've got to take away the fullback. If you don't he'll keep getting it. Get to that exchange point. The difference you'll see between the way Arkansas runs the wishbone and Oklahoma runs the wishbone. Arkansas runs between the tackles. Oklahoma with outstanding foot speed tries to get to the corner. They have big splits between the guard and the tackle. Arkansas's offensive line does. That's where they run it. Coach Switzer, this game means a lot to him. He's from Arkansas, played at Arkansas, and is still not that over the upset loss in 78. Van Dyke carries on a second down and seven play. He's inside the 40-yard line, down to about the 38. Arkansas at the outset done an excellent job of just some, some possession time on offense. Just keeping that high-powered Oklahoma offense over there on the sideline, just wondering wonder when they're going to get the ball back. Right guard lining up there for Arkansas and White. Freddie Childress, about 350 pounds, and he's a second-team All-American as a sophomore. They've been going behind him. Third down throw by Thomas. Dumping it off with the ball Van Dyke, and the Sooners get him short. Out of the 35-yard line, it'll bring up fourth and two. Now we're going to see exactly what Kent Hatfield's going to do. There's no pressure whatsoever on Arkansas tonight against Oklahoma. The wind is at the Arkansas. Arkansas is back. But do you go for it on fourth down? They send in their kicker, Kendall Trainer. They're going to go for the field goal, it appears. He can unload. He's got two from over 50 yards this season, Kendall Trainer. The hold will be at the almost to the fifth. Make it a 53 yard field goal. The hold close to the 43. Measured from the nearest yard marker to the upright, so it's a 52 yarder. On the way, it's not going to get there. Razorbacks have the first try at points in the game, and with 4.56, this will take these guys long to play a game. There's still no score on the board. Oklahoma goes back on offense, and we come back. Man, we've all been talking about all night long, and I guess all week long, if Brian Bosworth, Buzz, 
we've got the opinions of the coaches and the NCAA and everyone else. Now your opinion about the drug testing. Well, you know, I, I, it seems like every day I find new stuff up, uh, stuff out about this uh, drug testing, and it's uh, it's really shocking. It's like the NCAA doesn't have any idea what they're doing. And they're going in a, in a dark room with a shotgun, and they're just blowing people away. Unfortunately, I got picked off early. Right now, Oklahoma goes on offense. First back is Lydell Carr, the junior fullback who is knocked down by David Shell. We'll go back down to Paul McGuire. Let me ask you this. Did they test everyone? No, they didn't. And I find out tonight that, uh, you know, from what I understood, they're supposed to test every uh, postseason ball team. And uh, they only tested uh, 10 postseason ball teams. So I think the, they're looking for a Merry Christmas, and they got one this year. Back up to you, Don. Second down and five comes up now for the Sooners. There's no score. Sooners went out three downs. Three downs and out their first possession. And uh, again, straight up the middle to Lydell Carr, a six foot two inch, 225 pound fullback. As we watch a quick nose guard here, Trump, Tony Jericho. Well, this guy you got to admire. He weighs about 240 pounds. Has not lifted weights all season because he has a bad shoulder. Will undergo shoulder surgery two days after this game. He doesn't practice because it hurts his shoulder too much. But he's one of the most inspirational players I think I've ever seen. He doesn't belong out there. And yet, he's in there every play. His teammate Chibas rooms with the football. It's a whole lot better than the boa constrictor that Jericho has in his room. Pitch back. Spencer Tillman tries to turn up field and again Arkansas with its great quickness beats the blocks and makes the hit short of the first down. Again it's Steve Atwater. Steve Atwater 27. Now he's the safety that's assigned to the pitch man. Holloway does a great job of getting this off. An outstanding job. Otis Lloyd almost makes the play. Well, watch Atwater come. He doesn't buy the fakes. There to assist on the tackle. Great job so far by the, by the Razorbacks defense. So, so far, the overpowering Oklahoma running game has been shut down. A punt unloaded downfield by Thompson. Back is Shebeck. He runs it back now to the 16-yard line. 51-yard punt and 11-yard return. Scott Garl came down to make the tackle for Oklahoma. And Arkansas goes on offense for a third time when we come back. Almost a quarter of play, still no score at this 1987 Orange Bowl. And one thing Trump has been established early, it doesn't look like Arkansas is going to get blown out. No, they're not intimidated at all by Oklahoma. So the butterflies are gone for both football teams. And now Arkansas has been a couple of drives offensively and defensively. They can go to the sideline and say, you know, these guys aren't machines. These guys are human beings. We're doing all right. So far, the Sooners don't have a first down. in trouble back at the 17 yard line is a wave of the crimson and white Oklahoma Sooner defense comes over to sweep them under Troy Johnson who's making a lot of plays in an outside linebacker position just made another one is Ken Hatfield All-American defensive back and kick returner for Arkansas some years back counsels his quarterback on the sideline sounded like he called a pass there we have unofficially Dante Jones, a linebacker with four unassisted tackles to this point. Watch the tight end here. Watch the tight end here. Theo Young. 87. Don't go to him often. Play fake. Thomas keeps it himself, working hard on a second and ten play to get a hit for maybe five yards out to about the 22. One of the secrets to wanting running the wishbone is putting that ball in the fullback's belly and then pulling it out when he sees the end collapse. Go Greg Thomas down. does a great job. That's the previous play, not the last play, but the play before. So much is required of that wishbone quarterback. He's got to be watching defensive linemen all night long. Arkansas averages about four yards a rush. Substantially a little less than four. Tonight, Arkansas has had the only offense in this game so far. Quarterback, quarterback draw. draw. Call play. And a third down and four. It's going to be very close to a first down. It looks Trump like the lineman came in with a spot that's going to give it to the Hogs. Four new downs for Arkansas. First thing you notice on this replay is the guard splits, guards and tackles. 
He fakes to the fullback and then follows him right through the hole. Excellent block by Derek Thomas on Dante Jones. And it's just enough for a first down. So far, it's working for Arkansas. Greg Thomas makes the offense go. He is the number one rusher for Arkansas, the quarterback with 660 yards. And now a super fast wide receiver comes in, Donnie Centers. Number eight led the Razorbacks in rushing with 660 yards. Looking to throw. He's looking at centers. Now he dumps it up. Coming out of the backfield is Joe Johnson, who dropped one earlier. Derek White makes the tackle on first down, but Arkansas gets some more yards out to about the 33-yard line. 59 to play first the quarter. Initial receiver was centers. Thomas, watch him look downfield. He's looking for centers. Centers gets held up, and Thomas does a great job of looking off the primary receiver. Finds Joe Johnson out in the flat, and this time he catches it. They're doing an excellent job here. They pick up seven down, seven yards on that play. Now second and three. Perfect position for this football team. Thomas with the hand up. Third back through the very quick running back from Dallas a junior Sammy Van Dyke. Takes it straight ahead out to the 37-yard line. Third down and about one coming up. Steve Bryant again on the tackle. Officials time out. They're going to measure. Now one thing about Oklahoma, in a lot of years we've seen them play in the Orange Bowl, they can play a bad game. They can be uninspired for a quarter or two. Well, I asked Bosworth the other night, I said, how do you think the Sooners are looking at this? He said, well, you know, last year we came here playing for a national championship. This year we're not going to win a national championship no matter what they do. I'm not sure how they're going to play it. They're going to play hard, but I'm not sure if that fire is fanned like it was a year ago. Well, as Ken Hatfield and everyone from Arkansas has said all week long, we have no pressure on us. We have nothing at stake. This is for our reputation as they get another first down. Five first downs for Arkansas. Oklahoma, its first two possessions, three downs and out for the offense, and two punts. First quarter time-wise owned by Arkansas. There's 142 left. Oklahoma's run six plays, Arkansas the rest. Nobody really close to points yet. Arkansas did try a long field goal from 52 yards out. It was way short. Now Thomas, who's throwing the ball well tonight. He's hit four of six for 46 yards under the run, and he gets away from it. Shebest is open, but he doesn't see him. James Shebest came back at him, then broke downfield. But under the heat of the pass rush from Oklahoma, Thomas couldn't find him. Dottie Williams ran Thomas out of bounds. Shebest was wide open. If he let it go, it would have been six. It would have been tough, though. Thomas rolling to his left, a right-handed quarterback who had to square up and throw it about 35 yards down the field. Thomas, so far tonight, made excellent choices. And that's the first thing you consider when you're looking at a wishbone quarterback. Make the right choices. Thomas so far has accounted for 67 yards of offense, 46 passing, 21 rushing. Sooners coming hard, and Thomas gets away. On second down and almost 10, he is in across the 45-yard line, out to the 46. And again, the Razorbacks have third and short. Look at the strength this Greg Thomas kid has. Paul Meliazzo, number 42 for the Sooners, was there on the blitz. And he runs right through the tackle of Meliazzo. There's Meliazzo right there. Keeps his feet. Very difficult to account for a quarterback when he's scrambling like that. When you run the wishbone, you got a man assigned to him. But on the scramble, he's on his own. Arkansas doing well on third down attempts. They're three for five converting. down this time as quarterback Greg Thomas of Arkansas turns up field but right into senior linebacker Paul Meliazzo knocked him down along with Daryl Reed tough choice here for Ken Hatfield there's the boss they're all wearing that bits. everybody's got boss on their tape tonight at least on the right uh, he's on the side he's a real leader with that outrageous haircut and some of his outrageous comments Best like players on a team and also an academic All-American.
so. While still without points, has done a big job moving the ball on Oklahoma. And now the punt unit comes out on fourth down and one as they switch sides. Oklahoma. Snap it, snap it. High punt hit downfield, and it's going to be fielded on the fair catch at the 19-yard line. Arkansas had its offense on the field at the last moment, ran out its punt team. The Sooners had to make a quick change, and then you called Trump for a quick snap. Hogs were hoping they'd get it on five-yard penalty the first down. Didn't work. Sooners go when we come back. The Oklahoma Sooners stunned early in this game. They've not given up any points, but they've not had a first down in offense. And look at the overwhelming dominance of the big underdog Arkansas through the first quarter. And the possession in total yards. They have only on final numbers, though, and no points up yet. As Oklahoma go to the run, the fullback, Earl Johnson, a 205-pound senior, Took it straight ahead and got to about the 23-yard line where Wayne Martin, a rising star defensive end, made the play for Arkansas. Let's go back to Paul. Thanks, Now We're down in the field with Bobby Joe Edmonds, who is the leading punt returner in the National Football League from Seattle. Bobby, you never played against Oklahoma, but obviously Arkansas, they didn't read any clippings either. No, look at them get caught up in all the high football. They'll be all right. Playing good defense. You can get some points on the board. We'll be in good shape. You said to me just a moment ago you, you thought maybe tonight you might suit up. Breaking into open field on the pitch back from Jamel Holloway is Spencer Tillman. And Tillman might go the distance. He's going to take it in. And so the Oklahoma offense without a first down until that play detonates. A 77-yard touchdown play on the pitch back from Jamel Holloway to the senior runner, Spencer Tillman. And Oklahoma breaks it open and goes on the board. I'm sure Ken Hatfield's biggest fear the electrifying offense of Oklahoma. It's all made possible by Jamail Holloway, the secret to the wishbone quarterback. Keep it in your hands as long as you possibly can. Now watch what happens. Otis Lloyd is almost there to make the tackle. Then Atwater, and finally an excellent move by Tillman, and then it's a sprint down the sideline. 77 yards, and Oklahoma's on the board. And the extra point is hit up and good by Tim Lasher. So Oklahoma makes it happen fast. And the Boomer Sooners just unloaded. Spencer Tillman, the senior running back, taking the pitch back, going 77 yards. And up to that point, there'd been no first downs for Oklahoma. Now it's a 7-0 game Sooners. Another tough-to-handle kickoff that centers fields back inside his five. And Oklahoma knocks him down at the 16-yard line. Back to Paul on the sideline. Thank you, Doug. Bobby Joe, as we were talking, they run 80 yards for a touchdown. I know. I'm sorry I jinxed my teammates, but they'll come back. As long as they can keep playing some tough defense and get some points on the board. Right, thanks, Bobby. Now, the thing you notice is that the wishbone isolates players. Tillman has one player to beat there. An excellent block by Patrick Collins, 33, and then it's pretty much Tillman all by himself. Look at the big guy, Johnson, out there in front, 40 yards down the field trying to get a block. Two plays, 81 yards in 46 seconds. Spencer Tillman with the first score of this game. 7-0 Oklahoma with 14 minutes to play in the first half. Arkansas looking at a blitz. They pick up Meliazza, the linebacker, who is coming a throw and a strike to Shebest. He's out to the 32-yard line. First down, Hogs. showing great presence. He had people all over him. 42 Miliazzo up there, almost at the snap. It's a good block there by Derek Thomas, but he avoids the rush. I think that's the way Arkansas has got to uh, beat Oklahoma. Keep throwing at the Shebeston centers. It's working pretty well so far, but right now, Arkansas has got to get back in it as they're going for the big one. Down there is Downey Centers. He can't make a play on the ball. Fastest razor back covered by Ricky Dixon, and so second down and 10 comes up. That's the first poor pass that Thomas has thrown. All the rest of them have been right on the money. Very 
Switzer calls Jamel Holloway, as you know, Trump, the best wishbone quarterback he's ever had. And he's had some tremendous ones. J.C. Watson, Danny Bradley. And I think that might have been his final play by number four as he's made all year. Tackler was on him, pulling him down. He made the pitch back. Bang. Tillman goes the distance. 77 yards and it's 7-0 Oklahoma. Up back, the fullback Derek Thomas runs it for Arkansas and gets close to the 35-yard line. Meliazzo made the stop. He'll be making a lot tonight with Bosworth out of there, who is the leading tackler for the Sooners, or was. One thing, too, about Arkansas, they're a very patient offense and a very persistent offense. They come into the game trying to run between the tackles. They will stay with it. Even though Oklahoma will shut them down a lot, they'll keep trying the same spot. Thomas has thrown well, 5 of 8 for 63 yards. He gets some time, but he runs out of it. It's incomplete, and there's also a penalty marker down in the Oklahoma secondary. I think this is against Oklahoma. Barry Switzer was incensed. Looked like somebody grabbed a receiver on the far side of the field. What is that? That's one I've missed. Too many men on the field. Real out 11. I'd not seen that signal before. Paul Schmidt makes the signal against Oklahoma, so that makes it third down and three now. Too many men on the field. <laughs> Works in Canada, but not here. The flex ball. Arkansas in white trailing 7-0. Second quarter. Working hard with the ball is the fullback, Derek Thomas, a 225-pound senior from Paducah, Kentucky. He gets four new downs for the Arkansas offense. Troy Johnson that time on the tackle. At this point, Arkansas got to be somewhat confused. The numbers are all their way, except on the scoreboard. They give up one play on a great performance by Jamil Holloway, and they're down seven. Jamil Holloway was caught by a defender on his way down. He pitched back, and Spencer Tillman a short time ago ran at 77 yards for Oklahoma's touchdown. On first down, speed up the middle, and Joe Johnson, a high school All-American out of Longview, Texas. And he takes it across midfield of the 49-yard line of the Sooners. Now you look at this offensive line by the, of the Arkansas Razorbacks. You can see the big split between guard and tackle, and 72, Freddie Childress just caved in the nose tackle. A nice lane there for Joe Johnson to run up. Picks up five yards, second and five. Second in the long five. 11.54 to play in the first half. Thomas sets up. They give him time. He's got an open man. Ball is caught. They'll mark it just short of the first down at the 44-yard line of Oklahoma. Joe Johnson out of the backfield. Caught the ball. Was immediately drilled by cornerback Derek White of the Sooners. Third and short. The Razorbacks came into this ball game converting 47% of their third downs and accurate passing like this good receptions and once again third and short and they're four of seven on third down conversions tonight. Johnny centers the fastest Razorback back get on the field he's at the top of your screen. The run they go though straight ahead to Joe Johnson he has a first down for Arkansas down to the 42 yard line of Oklahoma. And the clock continues to not stop by the officials with 11.03 to play in the first half at 7 0 Oklahoma. Centers comes back out. She best goes back in with a play. Ken Hatfield, the Arkansas coach, spends 98% of his time coaching with the offense. Watch the way these linebackers step up. They're always attacking the line of scrimmage. That's an excellent block by Sammy Van Dyke, 21. Uh, the running back up through there. She best is hit early. It'll be a first down for Arkansas, the 23-yard line of Oklahoma. Ricky Dixon went up and nailed the catcher before the ball got there. Tom 
Thomas again voids the rush, but watch the better run by Shebest. It's a zone by Oklahoma. He looks inside. And you can see Ricky Dixon makes contact before the ball gets there. First down, Arkansas. Great protection, number one. Thomas has time to look down the field. He's kind of locked on to Shebest, but once again, this ball right on the money. I'm impressed. It can throw, comes into the game, completing almost 62% of his passes. You can see why. So the penalty, a 15-yarder against uh, Oklahoma, sets the ball to the 27-yard line. Now Arkansas starting to challenge. Razorbacks are down 7-0 after a 77-yard touchdown run by Spencer Tillman of the Sooners. There's some hitting tonight at the Orange Bowl as Oklahoma pops Derek Thomas, knocks him down, back down to Paul. All right, now, Daddy Trumpy, you're going to love this. we got a call for you. You guys ready? One, two, three. sound like some of those guys you hang around back in Buffalo. <laughs> Second down and nine. Throw down the middle. It's intercepted by Sonny Brown, who a year ago was the most valuable player for Oklahoma in their national championship win over Penn State when he intercepted two Nittany Lion passes. Bad choice by Greg Thomas. He threw the ball into coverage. Just his second interception of the season. Watch what happens. Sonny Brown drops back. He's looking at the quarterback's eyes right there to make the interception. With Bob Trumpy and Paul McGuire, this is Don Cricky at the 1987 Orange Bowl. Oklahoma, after the Sonny Brown interception, stops the Arkansas drive. Sooners go to the run and very quick nose tackle Tony Cherico again sheds the block of center Travis Simpson of the Sooners, makes the stop for a very short game. Oklahoma has had really no offense other than one play, and that went the distance for a 7-0 lead from 77 yards out. Watch the nose tackle, Tony Cherico, taking the half of the center. This defensive line is always slanting. They never line up man-on-man -man with anybody. This is a downsized defensive line. Again, Arkansas comes hitting and stops the wishbone. Ricky Williams, the number one tackler for Arkansas from Little Rock, an inside linebacker 57 who they told at Oklahoma you can come if you want to walk out and see if you can make the team. He was a high school teammate of the All-American tight end for the Sooners, Keith Jackson. Watch Jericho this time. Once again, offset, and then there's a slant to the weak side. He gives himself up, but he also tries to take out a blocker. Now watch the hit. He runs around the block and is there to assist on the tackle along with Ricky Williams. Now two fullbacks and a lot of speed in the Oklahoma backfield. They put Stafford out. Here is Jamel Holloway. Big pressure. He gets away. A magician, but finally he runs out of tricks at the six-yard line. Ricky Williams all the way. A loss of 11 yards. This Arkansas defense, there is no man on the defensive line who weighs more than 250. And for the Oklahoma offense, there is no man on the offensive line who weighs less than 275. And yet, the Arkansas defense making great penetration. That's Ricky Williams. Excellent foot speed. And Jamel Holloway avoids him once, but he won't avoid him the second time, and he makes the tackle for an 11-yard loss. Already down to just eight minutes left in the first half. 7 nothing Oklahoma. Very high putt. It's a swirling win here at the Orange Bowl. Shebest, fair catch signals and runs it back anyway. But that'll be, yeah, that'll be a penalty. Yeah. That's a penalty against Arkansas. That was a haphazard fair catch signal. Watch what he does. Arm goes up. That's a fair catch. And then he starts to run. It looks intentional. And they'll penal penalize Arkansas. I think these hogs, Trump, came in expecting a warm night. They got the cutaway jerseys on. It's brisk in South Florida tonight. A lot of wind. Not a Chamber of Commerce evening. But one of the hallmark events in college football being renewed for a 53rd time. The Orange Bowl with 7.51 to play, and Oklahoma's been here more than any other team. They've been here the last three years. In a row, they've been here seven of the last ten.
nine years, of course, a year ago they won the national championship. Beating Penn State 25 to 10. And tomorrow night the Nittany Lions go for a national championship against the Miami Hurricanes in the Fiesta Bowl here on NBC Sports. 7.51 to go, and it's still Sooner 7, Arkansas nothing. The Razorbacks of Ken Hatfield have the most offense and a big edge in time of possession, but the Sooners have the only points of the night on Spencer Tillman's 77-yard touchdown run here in the second quarter. It's 7-0 Oklahoma. 7.51 to go in the first half. On that penalty on Shebest on that delay of game for running after he made the signal for the fair catch is going to make it first and 15 for Arkansas. I'll tell you one thing, we're all coaches with 20-20 hindsight, but I'd throw to that Shebest all night. He can get open. Straight ahead give. And Marshall Foreman with his first carry. An undersized fullback, but very strong. Our cousin of the former heavyweight champion George Foreman is stopped by defensive tackle Richard Reed of Oklahoma. She best is the all-time, excuse me, Trump, receiving record holder at Arkansas. That's pretty good when you consider people like Lance Allworth and Chuck Dykus played there. Uh, the thing Arkansas has to do is throw the ball when it's not so obvious. Second down and 13, it's pretty obvious here. She best running the deep pattern. Thomas throws it out of the backfield, and Van Dyke puts it in the air, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Dante Jones. Man filling in for Boswell. Bosworth. And so a second interception on a tip ball, and the Sooners take possession once again with a 7-0 lead. We'll watch Dante Jones go to the football, just being in the right place at the right time. Intended receiver bounces it up into Dante Jones's hand. Second turnover of the night for the Sooners. This ball hits Sammy Van Dyke's hands. It never, he never gets control of the football, and it never hits the ground. So it's still a live football. Dante Jones there to make the interception. Sooners ball, best field position of the night. Good second look. Our producer tonight for NBC Sports is George Finkel. Our director, John Gonzalez, is right now the Sooners with a 7-0 lead. Have not thrown a pass in this game. Holloway at quarterback. This is the play that went the distance. The trailers Tillman, but this time with a full 360. The quarterback, Jamel Holloway, keeps the ball and gets ahead for about three. He was upended by cornerback Charles Washington. One thing you got to admire about these, these wishbone quarterbacks, they take some abuse, and they put it on themselves. Now, Holloway could pitch this ball, but instead he's going to try to make yardage. He's the leading rusher for the Sooners, and Washington goes right through his knees. That's a head first landing and a two yard pickup. Can't get it intercepted if you don't throw it. And Oklahoma hasn't put a pass up yet. Now they try to run. Earl Johnson, the pullback, with that seven and a half yard per carry average, takes it ahead on a second and eight play. Only about three or four. Ricky Williams, the inside backer, again on the stop for Arkansas. Later in tonight's game, we will be selecting the outstanding player for each team. Budweiser will donate a total of $2,000 to the school's general scholarship fund. Budweiser MVP here at the Orange Bowl is with 6.05 to play first half. Sooners have the ball in a 7-0 lead with third and five up. First throw. And now Holloway gets it to the All-American Keith Jackson. Who caught only 14 balls in the regular season, but averaged 29 yards a catch. That's good for 11 in the first down. 15th catch, five touchdowns. Here's the free safety at water. Suddenly he realizes, oh, I got Jackson. He was up there for the pitch. He had to go over and help out. Richard Brothers finally on the tackle. First down pickup, Oklahoma. The Sooners with a 10 to 1 mark. Go to the run, straight ahead of Spencer. Bumble, bumble is a free ball. Let's see if turnover goes Arkansas's way. And I got to tell you, I thought I heard a whistle before the ball came loose. Eric went it and looked like recovered it, along with, he knocked it away, along with Otis Lloyd, but I think I heard a whistle. Oklahoma maintains possession. Watch again as he goes through the line of scrimmage. Great job by Carl Bradford caving down in there. Can't see the ball loose. Lots of bodies around there. I think the 
whistle had already blown. Forward progress stopped. Second, long seven. First back through is the fullback, and again, he's shut down by the Arkansas defense. Earl Johnson carries down to the 31-yard line. Johnson's a comeback story, was out for a long time with an injury. He had the best rushing game this year for Oklahoma, ran for 205 yards against Kansas. Well, they're moving back to fullback. And in the last five games of the season, regular season for Oklahoma, he averaged 9.3 yards a carry. An array of great runners in the Oklahoma backfield. They have a six pack of runners. They use six. Spencer Tillman did earlier from 77 yards out for the only score of this game. Johnson again as Switzer stays with conservative football using the great blocking of his huge offensive line. You ain't got size, you ain't got nothing in Switzer's book for offensive linemen. And here's the mismatch. Third down and short. When the Oklahoma offensive line goes straight ahead, it really puts the Arkansas defensive line at a huge disadvantage. Spencer Tillman, a senior from Tulsa, 210-pounder, gets down close to the 23-yard line where Carl Bradford made the stop for Arkansas along with Ricky Williams. A year ago, Janelle Holloway as a freshman, quarterback Oklahoma to a national championship. Sooners not putting it up. The one throw to Keith Jackson, as Barry Switzer says, we do our throw in the pregame warm-ups. again on second down and long seven. Arkansas, Trump showing a lot of splits in their defensive front. They give that offensive line of Oklahoma's a lot to shoot at. Always moving. You never really get a solid hit on any of those defensive linemen from Arkansas. That's by design. Once again, there's no defensive lineman playing out there over 250 pounds. There's no Oklahoma offensive lineman under 275. They got a trick of run slants, run tricks, run games, try to get in the gap. Third down and five. Pitch back Tillman. He's going in. Spencer Tillman with his second touchdown of the game on the pitch back from Holloway from 21 yards out. Great block by Patrick Collins out in front of him. Again, Holloway right on the verge of disaster is able to make the pitch. <laughs> Not bad numbers. Including in the rushing yardage for Spencer Tillman, a 77-yard touchdown run on that same pitchback play. And now a 21-yard run in Oklahoma all of a sudden. Trouble on offense throughout the first quarter and a half. Breaks the game open and goes in front of the extra point, 14 to nothing, with 2.53 to play in the first half. Nine plays, 54 yards. When you face the wishbone, what they try to do is isolate players. Now you can see there's one guy out here to try to make or make the tackle on Tillman. He gets blocked by the offensive line, and Tillman just skates in for a second score. Down Cricky with Bob Trumpy back at the Orange Bowl, where Oklahoma on two touchdown runs by Spencer Tillman has now opened up a 14-0 lead. Last two offensive plays for the Hogs have been interceptions. Yeah, and for Oklahoma, they got it going now. They're not getting consistent yardage, but the one thing, Don, you can't coach is speed. The one thing that Oklahoma possesses in just sheer abundance is foot speed. Tillman has shown it twice already in this first half. Two things you can't coach, speed and luck. They've gotten the turnovers, and Downey Sanders runs it back across the 15 to the 17-yard line for Arkansas. There's Tillman. He scored twice on the same play from behind the defense. You see the hesitation by Jamil Holloway. That's get, that gets the offensive big guys out in front. There's Johnson, or Hudson, 79. Keith Jackson with a block. And Tillman untouched into the end zone. 107 yards rushing. And the last two times, as you said, that Arkansas's run of play, both have been interceptions. Arkansas is warming up its long-range bomber, Jay Cleveland, a passer who can throw at the length of the field about it. Whether or not anybody's on the other end of it, it's amazing. See, that's Jay Cleveland.
Cleveland, and they were warming up in one of the practice sessions the other day, Trump, with a long-range offense to centers, who's their flyer. Well, they have to do something to get back in the football game. They've dominated time of possession in this first half, but just given up two big plays by Oklahoma, and that's what Oklahoma does to you. That foot speed just, it shocks you as a defensive player out there. The orange ball with its usual unbelievable halftime spectacular coming out. We're two minutes and nine seconds of halftime. Out goes to Van Dyke. Sammy Van Dyke working hard to get out to the 28-yard line. Looks like he has a first down. Paul Meliazzo makes the tackle. You can see that Oklahoma is doing an excellent job of covering the deep receivers. Thomas going to the outlets. The running backs on the sideline. The magic of halftime is the theme this year here at the Orange Bowl. Miami, a city of lights on New Year's Day night. 53rd Orange Bowl Classic. Right now, Arkansas, the team that started out so strong, is troubled down 14 0 to the heavily favored Sooners. Thomas runs out of time. Bought some with a pump fake. Then it's gone, and Troy Johnson gets him. He's played a tremendous game. They list him as a defensive end, but really the outside ends, they really are outside linebackers for Oklahoma. They stand up. Arkansas only had two receivers out. And Dante Jones kind of cover in the middle when when Greg Thomas looks like he's going to scramble Dante Jones there to make the tackle along with Troy Johnson. Now this is trouble. Second down and 12. Centers in the ball game now for Arkansas. Top side of the field. Second and long. Thomas stands in. Let's a rip. Too much on it for Joe Johnson out of the backfield, and so it brings up third down and long. The uh, Razorbacks continue to just run two receivers out in the pattern. Centers was the only other receiver on the far side of the field. He ran a pattern deep, and Joe Johnson ran the pattern short. Rick Thomas has only got two choices. You need more people in the pattern than that. Now, Centers comes out. Shebest comes back in. Arkansas's only two losses this season were to Texas Tech in the fifth game, 17 to 7. And the Razorbacks were also beaten by Baylor, 29 to 14 in the ninth game. They finished with a 9 and 2 record at Arkansas. Swing pass. It goes out to the fullback, Derek Thomas, and he's out close to the 39 yard line. And now he's got, they're going to spot him across the 40 for a first down. 15 yard gain, but time a major factor now. As you see, it's down to 51 seconds to play in the half. Again, the running backs open. The wide receivers being hey, well covered. Hello, Dallas. Be home soon. 45 seconds to go in the half, and the clock ticking on down. 14-0 Oklahoma. Two pitch back runs. Spencer Tillman on the payoff end both times from 77 and 21 yards out. Out pattern, drop ball by Thomas, the fullback. Hit to the head could be a personal foul call against Oklahoma. Late hit. The other night, all the Sooners, and there are 100 of them here, and all the Razorbacks, or 120 of them, went on a cruise. Arkansas guys said you could tell our players are the ones without the earrings. <laughs> A lot of Sooners wearing that Bosworth earring. Sonny Brown, this is going to go against Arkansas, I believe. They never seem to get the guy who does it first. They get it on Derek Thomas, who tried to retaliate. And it's a big one, unsportsmanlike conduct. 15 yards against Arkansas. Second down. Second down and 25 now for Arkansas. And they've only been able to throw the ball to the running backs as outlet receivers. This is jail. Greg Thomas. Second and long, long yardage. Lofts it down to Shebest who can't hold it at the midfield stripe. So it'd be third down and about 25. This is not an offense that can survive when you've got second and third down and 25. See, Shebest runs a good pattern. 
Centers centers kind of drags coverage away. He's open, but Thomas just overthrows him ever so slightly. Now another player comes in to play the flank of freshman from Conway, Arkansas. Tim Horton is in. He's going out to the top of your screen. Donnie Centers is coming up the right flank. Thomas looking for the sideline, but he's not going to get there as the game clock is down to 19 seconds to play and running. And now we get the timeout. Dante Jones on the tackle. He's done an excellent job. Back in coverage, making interceptions, and there to make the tackle. Now the punt downfield by Arkansas. No sooner was back, they just let it hit downfield as that will do it for the first half. Ball is down at the 15-yard line with four seconds to play. Oklahoma 14, Arkansas nothing. A 68-yard punt. On Sunday, the New England Patriots go to Mile High Stadium to take on the Denver Broncos in the late starting playoff game. Magic of halftime coming up here at the 1987 Orange Bowl is right now. Ken Hatfield, coach of the Razorbacks, ready to go back to the drawing board in the locker room. A couple of missed tackles were very expensive for, Ar for Arkansas's defense as Spencer Tillman broke at the distance twice in this game. 77-yard touchdown run started the scoring, and up to that point, midway through the second quarter, Oklahoma had not even had a first down. That'll do it for the first 15 minutes. Coach Barry Switzer heads to the locker room. With the Sooners, a game in hand at the moment, a 14-0 lead over Arkansas.